the hell? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gonk thing like that. She gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Wanted to see what's shaken. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. Got another drive, sun fills me. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. They, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. I 
our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, Kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I was... A few months later, Andrew passed, and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? Thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Didn't go that far. He was like a. I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my Graham Grams, about our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. thing is about this place. Z? No. Hello? The fucking smell. You owe me some Eddie. Shoot, you're tripping. No, like... At all foods, nature comes first. From the very first stages of food. You're worth it.
You stink of junk food. What now? Hmm. Now move along, nice and easy. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. A tortoise? Is this some kind of joke? 
I don't know about you, but Barry didn't seem like the kind of pig to crack jokes. What, a tortoise? Makes no sense, Johnny. Barry said he was the only person he could spill his guts to. That not a good enough reason to buy a niche in a wall? Pay a visit from time to time? Gonk Blue Eddie's looking after an expensive ass tortoise just so he could talk to it. That's so normal to you. Picture this. You've got no one. Beloved Granny's been in the ground for years. Only thing she's left behind's a dumb fucking tortoise. But when Grandma told you about life, that tortoise was there. When that same life kicked you in the nads, when poor Gram's croaked, it was right there. Imagine how alone you've got to be to buy a niche for a goddamn animal. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning... Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. You are standing in a place of eternal Lighting candles and spray paint are strictly forbidden. is still alive, but what happens to her is either a matter of time or your discretion. Bugbear is trapped in the net. If she jacks out, the tiger claws stand ready, waiting like vultures to tear her to shreds. And if she doesn't, her synapses will fly soon enough anyway. I am counting on you, V. See the details attached. How you look is all that matters. With Angelique Cosmetics, you can be anyone and have anyone.
タリタ的人気のミュージカル企業戦争が待望の再演<笑> So I'm supposed to move out cause the tigers take the whole floor? Any idea what they're doing? Just be quiet and don't show your face. I'd jack her out and be done with it. I mean, how long can this go on for? What's it gonna change? Yeah, but then we lose the goods. This is about principles, not goods. Chick's taking us on a ride.
Welcome to the M54 News World Report. I'm Jillian Jordan. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. Try out our fresh superdome. decided to get his yeah, shit together. But cry out loud, Mendez. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. Memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Don't forget. Fuck. You're worth it. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men does it react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, way, Mary. City. I thought he was being a drama queen. I could get over it. I gotta go and talk to you. Prepare for About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day, that little kid's t-shirt. Green, with this funny yellow cat. <laughs> Get in. Oh, God. No harm, no foul.
even Mother Nature can end. Try out our freshly developed new tastes and let your tongue be amazed. All foods. Mmm. Yummy. Now move along, nice and easy. Arguing with you is pointless. You started it. clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. So, uh, we didn't talk about yesterday. Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident.
gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh... Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey! She was up Just gotten time. into you, Del. Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? I don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Mind telling me why I'm here? To assess the damage you, sir, madam, have incurred as a result of the incident. Mine came out to 20%. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 771? One, 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 zero, one, zero, nine, six. Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account, to compensate for the damage done. Bah. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No, you. Sure, let's talk. Then please follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganex. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
processing data now. Please wait. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Processing data now. Please wait. <laughs>